Digital sketching is an easy way to get ideas started quickly. A real benefit of this process is that we can begin exploring shapes and contemplating form when we might otherwise still be looking around for a pen, sketchbook and somewhere clean and bright to work. Though it comes with its own constraints, digital sketching allows us the freedom to work away from our studio and in fact to take our studio with us wherever we're going. What you're watching here is a three minute time lapse of a 10 minute sketching session. You'll have already noticed that I'm starting my sketches with construction lines. There are links below to my videos explaining the process of sketching with construction lines. Unlike the examples in my other videos, I'm not constructing my shapes within boxes. Instead, my construction lines in this example are very lightly mapping out the shapes I'm contemplating. Here I'm using Autodesk Sketchbook on an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. My intention is to keep this process very simple because I really want to focus all of my efforts on designing. In order to do so, I'm simply using the pencil tool and nothing else. If I'm struggling to work my way around an app or some drawing software, that will be a distraction, causing me to lose the flow in my thought process and my sketching. Though I'm simply using the pencil tool, I'm modifying its tone from light to dark and its thickness from narrow to wide. This enables me to create lines which jump out from the construction lines, having the effect of lifting my ideas off the page and presenting them to my client. You'll see that this is a very loose process. That's intentional. If I'm focused too closely upon the outcome, in other words, producing a beautiful page of artwork, then my creativity will suffer and my ideas won't be as good as they could be. Helping me to keep my work loose, I've set myself a few guidelines. Don't be precious about an idea. Overlap the ideas to make good use of the whole page. Make minimal use of the eraser tool and avoid it where possible. And work quickly. What I've set out to achieve in 10 minutes isn't a wonderful page of sketches worthy of a place in my portfolio. It's to enable me to understand my thoughts a little better to get a better grip on the product I'm developing, to give me a greater feel for where to head next. If at the same time I can use my work to further my discussion with my client, then that's of real value too. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, then please subscribe to my channel. Hitting the notifications tab will ensure you're the first to see my next video. You can find out what's going on behind the scenes on Instagram at Product Designer Maker and download resources and tutorials from my website www.productdesignermaker.com. Thanks for watching.